what's up y'all, my name is WorldBiteZ and today I have a special surprise for Nintendo 3DS Custom Firmware users. I have finally made my very own Nintendo 3DS theme and splash screen! Uh, not this type of splash screen. <laughs> but this type of splash screen! Pretty cool, huh? Oh, and if you're wondering what the theme looks like, it looks a lot like this. But if that doesn't work for you, I have a preview inside the theme files. Anyway, so today I'm here to show you how you can install these themes, or the theme that I made, and how to install the splash screen, if you have Luma Custom Firmware, that is. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so now that I got my 3DS capture set up, which by the way, I have custom firmware on my 3DS as well. If you have custom firmware on your 3DS. Or if not, I kind of have not as set as well. Alright, anyway, so in order to install the theme, you are going to want to go to homebrew slash CFW. Well, actually, I have a folder named homebrew slash CFW. If you have one as well, you can go to that. Anyway, so you're going to want this program called Anemon. Anemon. I, I don't know how to pronounce it really. Anyway, you're going to want to launch it. Wait for it. Alright, should be ready to go. Now, um, let me switch screens real quick. Alright, so here I am on Anemon, or whatever the app is pronounced. Um, I have the custom theme ready to go. I have it named custom theme for now, but you can change it with Usagi theme editor if you want. Anyway, so you want to hold down A, hold down up, and then release A without releasing up. And then you want to hit start. And then press and then press the home button. And as you can see the theme, well, it looks the same to me, but it should be it should be the same way for you. Actually, it should be this theme that you're looking at right now for you. Anyway, if you want to install the splash screen, go back to Anemone, or whatever it's pronounced. Okay, my screen capture isn't working now. Uh, I'll just show you through a webcam. Alright, so it should look like this. Well, to me, it should look a bit different from you if you have a different splash screen set up. But, but first, you need to have Luma set up so that it can load splash screens. Anyway, so you want to hold down, or actually press A, and press start to exit. It'll take you back to the home menu. And then you'll want to restart your system. You just wait for it to turn off. Alright, so my 3DS has successfully turned off, but it's still charging because I have a charging cable plugged in, and the splash screen should be set up. Now, the splash screen should be, sh should be set up before it loads up the home menu, or whatever application you plan to load up. And, um, so there you go. You have, you have my brand new custom theme and splash screen on your 3DS. Now, I probably won't be showing you any more custom firmware tutorials or anything. I probably should have mentioned that, well, well, I figured out while I was editing, I forgot to say I, that I would put the theme and 3DS splash screen links in the description. But otherwise than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment, and that's all you have to do. So, later!